What's up party people, Android Stud here. And today I'm back from the dead, that's right. I have the Pocophone F1 running Android Pie Resurrection ROM. That's right, let's get into it. Resurrection ROM, Android Pie style, next. All right, so I have the Pocophone F1 and it is running the official initial build for the Resurrection ROM on Android Pie on the Pocophone. Now, this is an excellent ROM. A lot of people love this ROM. I mean, it's up there with Pixel Experience, with Lineage, with all those great ROMs. And as you can see here, when we go into About Phone and we go into, you see here, we're running Android version 9.0 right here. As you can see, and there it is, Res Resurrection ROM 7.0 Android version 9. The security patch level is January of 5, 2019. Vendor patch is a little earlier, I don't know why that is. But anyway, this has a bunch of different uh, features on it. It has a lot of customization. It is really, really an excellent ROM for your Poco phone. Now, a couple things that you need to do before you get this ROM. There's three files that you're gonna, three that you're gonna have to flash. But the first thing you need to do, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, as we all know, and you need to flash a custom recovery like TWRP, which is an excellent recovery if you wanna do custom ROMs on your phone. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, there'll be links down below from a good friend of mine. If you watch my videos, you know who he is. His name's Munchie. He'll show you how to unlock your bootloader, also how to flash twerp recovery. And then you're gonna need three files from the resurrection ROM that you're gonna have to flash on here. And you're gonna have to flash the vendor up the vendor firmware, also the resurrection ROM, and then you're also gonna have to flash the G apps. So there's a couple things that you're gonna have to flash if we get into here, Pocophone updates, and then we go into here, you're gonna have to flash three files here. If we go into the XDA link, we're gonna fly over there. And as you see, I'll leave a link down to this link down in the description. You're gonna have to flash the Fender firmware, the, the ROM itself, and then you're gonna have to flash the G apps. And you could do match, Magic Disk if you want, uh, if you wanna do a root your phone, that kind of thing, and flash modules and all that good stuff. But it's really, really easy to install. As you see that screen right there, you're gonna flash the Fender firmware, the Resurrection ROM, and the G apps, and you're gonna do that. And it's pretty, pretty simple. But as far as the ROM is concerned, uh, I've been using it for just a little bit. Um, you do get all your notifications up here in the status bar, so you don't have to worry about that. I've set up my clock to have seconds, as you can see there, the seconds are going, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it is using the Pixel launcher. It has another launcher, but I'm not too crazy about it. Um, the other thing that it has, um, that I'm not crazy about. It comes with this stock camera. It's not really a Google camera. It's kind of like an Android camera. So I'm not crazy about it. So I installed the Pixel 3 camera or Google camera with portrait mode on the, on the um, selfies. As you can see there, I took a shot there of me doing the video. Uh, there's one of my dog on the, on, the, on the bed just chilling out. Uh, I did night mode. Uh, it looks like it, it works some, so it looks like night mode, portrait mode on the selfie works. I'm not sure about the rear camera self, I mean, portrait mode. So you have to check that out. Now, as we get into the settings, there is something called, I'll show you here, it is called Resurrection Tools. Now, this has a plethora of customization. Status bar, quick settings, recents, lock screen, animations, miscellaneous, interface, navigation, buttons, you know, have stuff about the phone. You have so many different features in here. I can't even get into all of them. There's so many. One of them that I did change was the clock. As you see, I I changed the I changed it to have show hours, minutes, and seconds. Now you can put the clock on the left. Now if you put it in the center or right, it's gonna disappear on you. 
because obviously of the notch. <laughs> so if it's in the center, you know the notch is gonna cover it. Um, so I put it, you could put it on the right there if you want. Uh, that's up to you, but you're gonna get rid of your your signal for like Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna leave it on the left. Now, as far as the notch is concerned, I don't believe there is a notch setting. Let's go into here and see if we can find a notch display cutout. Let's see what we can, let's see if we can hide the, the display cutout or the notch. And you see, the notch is gone, so that's good. So you'll be able to set your, uh, so that you can have no notch on your phone here on Resurrection ROM. So that is really, really cool that you're able to do that on the Resurrection ROM. That's awesome. It's under display cutout. So if you go into developer options, display cutout, you could do corner display. I don't know why you want to do that, but I'm going to put it back on the notch because, um, that's the way I roll. I'm okay with the notch. It's not a big deal to me. Um, it's not a deal breaker. Um, but this really has some really good features. Obviously, you have your Google stuff there if you swipe to the left because it has the Pixel Launcher. So that's really, really cool. Um, but like I said, man, it has a lot of different tools here for that resurrection tools if you want to get into it. Um, it is totally stock Android. So you totally have... Now you can go into here and go into your gestures. If you go into uh, settings, system, advanced gestures, you could swipe. You could do swipe up on home screen. Sorry about that. And you just pick that, and you're good to go. And then you have the pie gestures, uh, like on Pixel, like on a Pixel device. So. That's pretty cool uh, if you want to do that. I like the navigation buttons myself, but we're going to leave it there for now for this video. But that's it, man. That's the Resurrection ROM for the Pocophone F1. It is the initial build, the official Android Pie version for the uh, Resurrection. You got your text message from Google, your phones from Google. So you got all kinds of cool stuff here that you don't have to worry about um, as far as it being stock Android. And like I said, you're gonna flash G apps, uh, your Google apps, so everything flows in there really, really nice. You won't have any issues when it comes to doing all things, but make sure you flash that vendor firmware. Oh, look at this. You got a little pie uh, action here. Uh, just look at this. You got some controls here. So if you want to control here from the side, you saw that? That's pretty cool. I, mean, I don't even know how that's set up, but it is. <laughs> That was kind of freaky, um, but yeah, if you want to go back to your recents, you can that way too. So, but yeah, flash that vendor firmware, and then you're gonna flash your um, the ROM and then the G apps. But that's basically it, man. I just wanted to kind of show you show you the ROM, uh, show you how it looks and that kind of thing. But it is the Resurrection ROM OS Android Pie initial build here. Make sure you follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Android Pie, at Android Pie, at Android Stud, my bad. I got pie on the brain, Apple and Pecan mainly, but, but yeah, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Android Stud. Also, leave a comment down below if you got a question or anything like that. Uh, please like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel so you can be part of the party people. And that's going to do it, man. That is the Resurrection, Resurrection Remix ROM for the Pocophone that features Android Pie. I'll see you guys later. Peace.